Okay, so round one, let's get things started. I use ink a dewy duck and a hue, I mean, and play a flounder and pass the turn. Run up, play strike a good match into the inkwell and plays out Akita. Passes the turn. I ink another Dewey and ink or play a Duke Weaselton and plus for one with my founder and pass the turn. He inks a Hypnotize and for two plays out a Dalmatian Puppy Tailwagger and quest for one with Kita. Passes it back to me. Ready my ink and draw for turn. I ink a Duke Weaselton, and for three I play out Agrabah, and quest with both Flounder and Duke Weaselton, taking me to four. He decides to ink a Dalmatian Puppy Hellwagger and plays out a Kakamora, which makes me lose a lore. He decides to bite into my Agrabah location with both Dalmatian Puppy and Kita, doing 4 damage and passes the turn back to me. I decide to ink a Moana. For 2, I play out a Hey Hey. And for one, I move him to Agrabah, making her lose a lore. And I quest with both Duke Weaselton and Flounder. And I get two from Agrabah, taking me to eight. He inks a Kita. For three, she brings out Jasper. A decent card in a starter deck tournament. She then takes out the rest of Agrabah with Kita. And takes out my Duke Weaselton with Dalmatian Puppy. And then my Flounder with her Kakamora. Running them both to the discard and passes the turn. I change my mind, and for three, I play out Maui, the new reckless card that his ability allows him to gain one lore and lose reckless if a hey hey is in play. I then pass back the turn. E for one plays Neverland. And then for three plays out a Wildcat. She then quests for three with her Akita, Dalmatian Puppy, and Jasper, locking down my Hey Hey. I decide to ink Voyage. I take out the Jasper with my Maui. I want to get him off the field 100%. Then I take out the Dalmatian Puppy Tailwagger with my Hey Hey. I then pay 3 ink for, or 4 ink, sorry, for Moana and pass the turn. to ink a kit cloud kicker and play out a Don Carnage. She did gain one lore for the Neverland. And then she also quests with Akita and the Wildcat. 
for two six. I decide to play Grand Metallo, which allows me to look at the top two cards of my deck, put one on the bottom and one into my hand. I make my decision. I then ink a Maui's Fish Hook and for two play the two drop uninkable Simba, the quest for three. I throw the Moana into the Wildcat. And then pass the turn. Gains one from the Neverland. He pays one for Pluto and then two for Helga Sinclair. And decides which line of play she is going to take. She decides to finish off my Moana with her Don Carnage, keeping three damage. Decides to quest with Kida, taking her to eight, tying up the score. And for five, I play the Shift Moana, a four-four character with a quest for two. I decide to throw Grandma Tala and Nikita, getting it off the board, getting two damage, and then I quest for three with the Simba, taking me to 11. Back to her, she gains one off the Everland and pays two for Dalmatian Puppy Tailwagger. Decide to take out my Grandma Tala with the Down Carnage. Then quest with the Pluto and the Helga Sinclair, taking her to 11. Again, tying up the score. For one, or for three, I play a Kakamura, making her lose a lower. I then quest with Moana and Simba for five, taking me to 16. Pass the back. Gains one. Taking her back up to 11 from the Neverland. She then uses Pluto's ability to lower the cost of a character by 1. And for 5, plays out Robin Hood. She then decides to take out my Simbo with her Dalmatian Puppy, find it Byronic, and then she quests with Helga Sinclair and the Pluto, taking her to 13. I then play Scrooge McDuck, and I know that it's pretty much over after I quest to 19 with Moana and Kakamura, and she gains one from the Neverland, and yeah, that's the game. So on to the next one. Okay, so she starts off by inking a cubby and dropping Neverland for one and passing the turn. I ink a Flintheart Gloom Gold and for one play out a Flounder. She gains one from her Neverland. I do ink a Kita and for two play out a Dalmatian Puppy Tailwagger. I ink a Scrooge McDuck, Uncle Moneybags, and for two, play out a Duke Wilson, and quest for one with my Flounder. She gains one from her Neverland.
he decides to ink a patch. And for three, plays Ode Roly. And quest for one with her Dalmatian puppy Tailwagger, taking her to three. Ink a Gyro Gear Goose. And for three, play Agraba. I then decide to just quest with the Duke and Flounder, taking me to four. Pass it back to Brenna. He inks a Dalmatian Puppy Tailwagger. that I want to make a deck about the Dalmatians on my channel quickly while she's figuring out her line of play. For one, she plays out a Pluto. She decides to quest with the Rolly and the Dalmatian Puppy, taking her to six. I gain two from the Agrabah. I decide to ink Maid Marion. And for four, I play out a Flint Heart Gloom Gold. I then decide to quest for three, taking me to nine. Pass a turn. Gains another one off her Neverland. He inks a patch. And for four, plays out Tinkerbell. Which allows her to look at the top four cards of her deck. Reveal a character card, put it into her hand. She reveal, reveals Nani in her hand and puts the other three on the bottom of her deck. She then quests, or sorry, takes out my Agrabah with her Rolly and her Dalmatian Puppy, and quests for one with Pluto, taking her to eight, and passes the turn. I ink a Sumerian Talisman. And I decide to pay five for a Dragonfire. Take out the Rolly. I then quest for 5 with my 3 characters, taking me to 14. Last turn, she goes up to 9, goes to Neverland again. Locations are awesome. He inks a Bernard. Decides to use Pluto's ability to lower the cost of the next character and plays out the summon drop Starkey. He then takes out my flounder with her Dalmatian puppy Tailwagger. And then quest for one with Tinkerbell, taking her to 10. I decide to play three 
for Kakamura. See, she was at 11 there, and that takes her back down to 10. She gains one back for the Neverland. decides to take out my Duke Wesselton with her Dalmatian puppy Hellwagger, then take out my Flintheart Gloomgold with her Starkey. She inks a Jetsum and for five plays out Nani and Bodyguard. And quest for two taking her to 13. And at this point I was like yeah I don't have a way to clear the field. Think for a quick second and then say yeah. I scoop up and say on to the next round. 